Figuring out what to do with women and children associated with the enemy isn't a new problem for a country, but when you bring ISIL into the equation, it becomes hugely controversial. At issue in the Netherlands, what to do about 23 Dutch women and their 56 children under the age of 12, many born in the vast, desperate Al Hol camp in northern Syria. Their families had demanded they be brought home. The government had said, no thanks. In his ruling, the judge demanded that the Dutch state had a duty to show it was trying to repatriate the children and their mothers too if the Kurdish camp commander said so, and all within 14 days. So if the Kurdish authorities say we're only willing to give back the children if the Dutch authorities also take back the women, then that's the way it has to be. And that has been the Kurdish position until now. They won't give any children unless the mothers are also brought back. Among the women there is Chadia, who as a little girl was as innocent looking as anyone. But her family say she suffered mental health issues growing up, was targeted by ISIL supporters in the Netherlands and persuaded to go to Syria to be a bride to a fighter. And this is Chadia now. She lost her foot in an explosion. But she doesn't have children, and so she's stuck. Her family are devastated. We had her passport. When we uh, saw that she was planning for a second travel to Syria... You took her passport away from Yes, her. of course. Every family did that. The Dutch government don't get the responsibility again. They said, yes, they are there. It's not our problems. And it's very hard to, to hear that. So, what might the Dutch government do now? Putting the onus on the Dutch authorities to go into northern Syria to get these women and children out is one thing. Whether the Dutch are actually prepared to do it themselves is something else again, because they've always said it's too dangerous. But the Americans have intimated that they're prepared to go into Al Hol to perform the task for them. Very likely then that the Dutch will be trying to outsource their own problem. The big problem in any number of European countries is public opinion, which overwhelmingly insists anyone who went to Syria within the last five years knew exactly what they were doing and should lose their rights. Assuming they are brought home, the next question will be what to do with them. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, The Hague.